Hi friends, welcome to Hashtag Me. It's good to see you for a long time. So, I was kind of busy on since past few weeks, but uh, I decided to make a new video on the topic of synchronization in Java. So, do keep liking and subscribing to Hashtag Me. And uh, let's deep dive into the video. So, when you consider synchronization, synchronization in Java is the capability to allow access of multiple threads to any shared resource. In the multi-threading concept, multiple threads try to access the shared resource at a time and to produce inconsistent results. If multiple threads try to access a shared resource, there will be inconsistent results. You consider a scenario like uh, you go for a movie and there is a single window, ticket window for availing the tickets. So what would happen if all at once try to avail the tickets? It would be like create a havoc and it would provide inconsistent results. Similarly, to remain the, in the consistency, so only one uh, thread or only one object here in terms of person is allowed to avail the ticket. So that's in that case synchronization needed. Using synchronization only thread is allowed to, only one thread is allowed allowed to access the critical region of the shared resource resolving the problem of producing inconsistent results as I said only one thread is allowed to access the critical region of the shared resource allowing uh, resolving the problem of inconsistent otherwise you will get inconsistent results synchronization in Java basically could be achieved in following ways using synchronization block that is instant synchronization uh, using synchronization method again that is a case of instant synchronization and using static synchronization we'll see one by one so synchronize method so a method is set to be synchronized when it's declared with synchronized keyword the important point is to know it, it should be declared with synchronized keyword it acquires lock associated with the object or the method which is called before making any method as synchronized it, it is necessary to acquire the lock on the object which, which it is called suppose there is a method and you want to make it as synchronized you should hold the particular lock on that uh, object object on the method so that is important otherwise it will, you can't make the method asynchronous the thread can then execute the method and it will release the lock when it's finished so it's like uh, i am like uh, let's say i am uh, entering into like a lock atm and i am uh, utilizing the functionality of atm and only one specific uh, that is to only I am allowed to uh, do the transaction at one time. This is a small ATM, only one person is allowed. So I will hold the lock until my all the transactions are done, and after my all transactions are done, only after then I will move out of ATM and release the lock, and then will make the ATM available for others to do the transactions. So considering that, uh, I am holding the lock until my work is done so that work so because considering the ATM as a critical section so until all my transaction I will, I will hold the lock only after then I will release it helps to avoid concurrency and rest conditions problems that's the best use of it so consider uh, like for example uh, there is a counter and uh, I am incrementing data so I am making the method as synchronized that is a example of synchronized method we'll see in much deep details and detail uh, separate videos on more detailed explanation the main point of this video is i will just uh, probably the overview and uh, conceptual details about the topic related to synchronization so that is about synchronized method let's move further synchronized block synchronized block provides developer the flexibility to allow only few lines of the method to be synchronized so if there is a method and let's consider 20 to 30 percent section of the code only you want to make a synchronous or only partially you want to synchronize that that can be done using synchronize this this is uh, refers to the def uh, default uh, object and uh, within this you can uh, show the method that is that is synchronized scope of synchronize is basically smaller as compared to the method because when you make the entire method as synchronized there is no like uh, partial synchronization or like only a part of it can be synchronized but uh, with the given the flexibility of synchronized block it can be achieved uh, in which you can make only a uh, 
part of the method is synchronized using synchronize and this and the all the code that needs to be synchronized using using close within that block that is the synchronized block first we saw that there was the method the entire method was synchronized but here we provide the flexibility to allow, allow only few lines to be synchronized so that is the speciality of synchronized block let's move further static synchronization static synchronization means implementing synchronization or static method of class so static method if any method is static and that also needs to be synchronization so you can do uh, the help of static synchronization if any static method is synchronized lock will be held on the entire class not on the specific object here uh, remember in the case of static uh, synchronization gen generic synchronized method it was on the, you need to held lock on the specific object uh, class object no? not on the entire uh, not on the entire class but in static synchronization you would lock on the entire class not on the object and static synchronization method a block of code uh, by the instance uh, static synchronization synchronization method or block of code of class object by the instance synchronization synchronization method of block of code or instance object so there is a differentiation that is instance synchronization and static synchronization and static synchronization will synchronize the entire class and uh, instance synchronization only synchronize will hold object on the specific method uh, so below is an example then i just created static uh, uh, variable and i declared uh, it as a, a static synchronized decrement and it will just keep on incrementing the counter and it will be held uh, it is an example of static synchronization so this was this was all about related to synchronization in java so we saw basically uh, right with the definition what is synchronization we saw what is basically instant synchronization in the form of st synchronized methods and synchronized blocks finally we saw uh, static synchronization that can be implemented at the class level rather than the object uh, holding the method level and uh, so this was just to give a brief idea of what synchronization how it is basically generally implemented in java and what are the various use cases so we will definitely see in much detail in uh, next related videos about the synchronization with examples and uh, we'll come to know uh, how it works and in the real life uh, with the real life uh, examples so do keep liking subscribing to hashtag me recommend to your friends if any and uh, show your blessings and bye for now